can't believe you two took that raving lunatic seriously. What do you think this is? <laughs> Hi everyone, for lack of knowledge. And today I want to share some information with you guys that would definitely be considered strange science. This would once again be something that lets us know prophecy is being fulfilled in scripture where it states that in the end, knowledge will be increased upon the earth. But the information I want to share with you is about an article that actually broke news in 2014. I do remember a couple of years ago hearing about scientists creating a new nitrogenous uh, base pair for DNA, and they called it the X and the Y. Um, we understand that, you know, your DNA is made of ATGC, or also known as adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine. And these pair up to make our double helix, which makes up our DNA code. But what has happened recently is that they have perfected this process. These artificial life forms that they made in 2014, a couple of years ago, would die off very rapidly. But now they've perfected the process so that they will stay alive. And so this is a breakthrough. Let me read a little excerpt of this article for you to set up this discussion. Organisms created with synthetic DNA paved the way for entirely new life forms. From the moment life gained a foothold on Earth, its story has been written in a DNA code of four letters. With G, T, C, and A, the molecules that pair up in the DNA helix, the lines between humans and all life on Earth are spelled out. Now, the first living organisms to thrive with an expanded genetic code have been made by researchers in work that paves the way for the creation and exploitation of entirely new life forms. Scientists in the U.S., modified common E. coli microbes to carry a beefed up payload of genetic material, which they say will ultimately allow them to program how the organisms operate and behave. The work is aimed at making microbes that churn out new kinds of proteins, which can be harvested and turned into drugs to treat a range of diseases. But the same technology could also lead to new kinds of materials and other things. In a report published on Monday, the scientists described the modified microbes as a starting point for efforts to create organisms with wholly unnatural abilities and traits not found elsewhere in nature. So I'll just stop there. And that is very telling that that statement was made, that their purpose of the whole thing is to create organisms. And that was in quotes with wholly unnatural abilities and traits not found elsewhere in nature. So this is definitely stuff that is uh, extreme knowledge being increased and being put out there. This is also interesting because, you know, I have to compare things to a uh, uh, other viewpoints and put forth a spiritual um, a perspective from it. Um, in studying in scripture and multiple other uh, theologies and religions, I've looked into a lot of this stuff for many, many, many years. Um, I've come to the conclusion of Christ being the only way through my studies. And this is not just some rash decision I've made or just something I was raised as or just, you know, uh, parroting what I've heard others teach in a primarily Christian society here in America. This is from my own research and my own rationale that I've come to this conclusion. So that being said, I've even looked into some of the apocryphal books. Now, in the book of Jasher, which does have its... Uh, questionable parts. All of it uh, is not verifiable and some of it does not perfectly jibe with scripture, which is why it was not canonized into our Bible. But there are some pieces that seem interesting and seem relevant, um, even if the whole work is not uh, canonized and is all, is all of it is not considered um, legitimate. But the book of Jasher is referenced in scriptures uh, in more than one place uh, by people that were referring to the wisdom that was found in the book of Jasher. And if you look into this apocryphal book, there's some very interesting tales of demons tampering with nature. And it says to anger God. 
Um, you know, the enemy would love to be in God's place. I've stated that many times before. That is his whole purpose to exalt himself above the stars of God. He wants to be like the most high. I've said that many, many times. And the one thing that is unique to the creator, to God himself, is that he is the only one that can create. So what the enemy has done is he has found a way to make chimera. And if you don't know what a chimera is, a chimera is a mixing of different species and genetic material that does not readily occur in nature or is unnatural. And so humans, we've been tampering with this stuff for quite a while. Um, and I do truly believe that this art was one of the arts taught by demons uh, to humans. Back in the book of Enoch, we know that uh, demons taught their wives and other humans forbidden arts and uh, gave us gnosis or knowledge, you know, trying to make good on the promise that their leader, the serpent, told us in the book of Genesis in the garden that surely we won't die, but we would just have knowledge of good and evil and we would be like gods. So the enemy has been trying to make good on this. And this would definitely be one of those forbidden arts that they taught because this would anger God. Um, it's almost a mockery or a spitting in his face. And although I love science and this is some amazing news, I have always uh, frowned upon and leaned away from tampering with uh, the genetic code of life itself. Uh, not too long ago, I do remember reading some stuff where uh, there are some countries now that, you know, doing genetic tests on humans is not uh, illegal. And, you know, some of these autocratic nations, they'll just do what they want. They don't care what law says, international law, things of that nature. But we've done things like do genetic tests and mixing human DNA and human genetics with pigs. And some of this stuff is, although it seems beneficial on the outside, uh, we do get to a point. And this is a question. But when do we get to the point that we're stopping our trust in God and we are trusting in the lie that the enemy told, wherein that we can achieve all things through our own knowledge. We see what happened in uh, Babylon during the Tower of Babel when humans got so full of themselves that, hey, we can achieve, we can make it to heaven. We can build a tower into the heaven itself on our own through our own knowledge. And so this is just some very sketchy stuff. It's amazing and it's interesting, but scientists have created a functional and a viable new synthetic life form instead of just the ADTC uh, of the nitrogenous base pairs, they have now added an X and a Y. And so this is completely man-made. But all of these things are amazing news. It's some definite strange science. It's good to keep up on this stuff. And I love science. I believe it's man's pursuit at finding the truth. I've just learned that at the end of truth, you do and will find God. Take care, guys. Have a blessed day. I'll talk to you next time. And let's not be destroyed for lack of knowledge.